Hi guys, if the tyres in your road car had no tread, you'd be in trouble with the law. So why are Formula One tyres completely slick? Hi guys, my name is uh, Guillaume Dezote. I'm Alan Permain, Racing Director at Visa Cash App RB Formula One team. I am responsible for all the technical aspects at the racetrack over a race weekend. I'm Head of Vehicle Performance here in uh, Visa Cash App RB Formula One team. I'm leading a group of engineers and our job is to make this car as fast as possible. And we're talking about tyres and specifically why are they slick tyres. The simple answer to that is we want to get as much rubber in contact with the tarmac as possible. The, the part that is in touch with the road is known as the contact patch and this we try and optimise as much as we can through the race weekend. So, as opposed to the road car tyres where we have a tread pattern to be able to run on any condition, wet, dry, uh, on any kind of road, in Formula 1, we are interested about the maximum performance the car can achieve and if it starts raining, we will just stop for changing the tyres. With a slick racing tyre, we don't have to worry about the wet weather. If it rains, we put a wet tyre on. So the slick tyre maximises grip in dry conditions. So those slick tyres, uh, I imagine them as uh, what's going on between the tyre and the road. Between the tyre and the road we have a contact area and this contact area is everything we've got to transmit a force to the car to follow a trajectory. And the optimization of what's going on in this contact patch is, uh, is exactly what we spend our time on and um, this is why the sick tyre brings a lot of value in having the maximum surface area between the road and the tyre to be able to produce the biggest force to help the driver following his trajectory. The slick tyre is also uh, much better for its durability from lap to lap, the way it produces the tyre wear on its surface. Fifteen years ago, uh, in Formula One, we were using groove tyres. Groove tyres were introduced for reducing the performance of the cars. We were starting to go too fast in the corners for the tracks we visit, and they were leading to a lot of difficulty in terms of management of the wear or the damage of the tyre surface. The slick tyre is much better in terms of its performance uh, on a long duration laps on a corner by corner basis. So this contact area has a better temperature distribution and then the wear is more linear and we are able to optimize uh, in, in a better way the performance of the tyres uh, on the track. <laughs> 